Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be teaching you guys how to mask skin tones on Capture One. Yeah, you could actually decide to do your skin matching on Photoshop, but I'd rather do it on Capture One because it makes my workflow much more faster. And here's a video of how I decided to match this um, um, skin of this model. As you can see, our legs are looking quite dark and my hand has like a little bit of green tint to it. So. Um, yeah, you can see the first adjustment layer I did here and also the second adjustment layer you can see I decided to brighten up the leg and also adjusted the tone because it had more red and for the hand also I decided to touch the hand. So let's just jump right into it. So guys, the first thing I do is I come down to, I come up to my background with a layer menu in Capture One. Then I decided to create a new layer by clicking the plus button right there. Then I create a new layer. I decide to name it Skin One. If the skin has different color, I would want to attack each patches of color on the model's body with each layer. I hope you guys understand. So I'm going to create a new layer with Skin One. Then after I do this, I'm going to click on the brush, or I'll, I'll click on the draw marks. I am on a, the default on capture one is for it's going to be only display marks when drawing but i will change it to always display marks so i want to actually see where i'm painting on before i start painting so after i click on all these draw marks then i will click on the brush as i just did right here then i will start painting on the affected area the place i want to make look like every normal place so i'm i'm painting on the skin tone that i feel looks off on my subject so yeah i'm just going to paint around this arm part which i feel as like a little bit of green compared to the face so i'm using the face as my main focus here so i'm going to paint yeah i'm doing this roughly because yeah i don't want to waste nobody's time i just want to get this done real quick and get this video out there to you guys so you don't have to spend minutes watching this video just for you to get the idea so after i've done this for the hand i'm now going to go down to this layer which is color editor i was look for my color editor right in this menu here i'll click on my color editor then go down to the skin tone sub menu i would click on my skin tone then this color pick out this eyedropper tool i'll select the eyedropper tool and what i'm going to do with this eyedropper tool is i'm going to click on this eyedropper tool and click on the skin tone i want my new painted area to look like that means i'm going to go somewhere around the model's face and select that skin tone if i select that skin tone that is automatically affect the place the place i painted you get like it's going to like that means you're creating a mask just like a mask on for photoshop where when anything you do you know painting black or white in one part black is going to hide white is going to reveal so that's what i'm just going to do i'm going to select an area which is um the face area so the other part should look like that part the part painted should look like it um and for you to take away the mask anytime it shows that red you go back to that to this same menu where it shows um where it shows always display marks you change it back to only display marks when drawing so you can actually see the effect of this so i'm going to click right there on my subject face then after I click on my subject face, it's going to bring out the colors in which you get, as you can see, the color pop there. Then I would move down to my amount, the U, the saturation, the lightness, because basically this is what changes the skin tone. Then this is the slider that I'm going to adjust. Now you need to like, actually have a good eyes. You need to just keep looking. You need to pull this slider either left or right to actually see the effect of this. If you move it that left or right, you try matching the skin tone as you guys can see. I'm taking it all the way to the right here and you can see how it looks much more green like she's an alien. So in which she's not an alien, you can see that is not the skin tone right there. So I am going to draw the, um, drag the side out to the left hand side. As you can see, now the skin is looking more like the face as you can see right there. Great. And if I've done this, if I feel maybe the saturation is like way too much in that part, I could bring down my saturation. If I feel it's looking a little bit dark, I could decide to increase my lightning slider too. So you do this to your taste and try eyeballing it and seeing what match or what works. Yeah, so since I've done this one right here, I'm going to move down to the legs because i feel okay yes the ham now looks just like the face now i'm going to move down to the legs and what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new layer again which i'm going to name 
I'm going to name this layer a new layer this time. I'm going to name this layer Skin 2, which I just did. Click on the plus button, rename it to Skin 2. Click on the max button, then change it to always display mask. Then I'm going to click on the brush again. Now I'm going to go down to the legs, I'm going to paint the legs this time. I'm doing this roughly because, yeah, I'm getting this video done. But if I'm meant to like do it for like client's job, I need to like, take, my t take my time and actually paint it correctly. Okay, I'm going to paint on the leg. Then after I've painted, remember, I'm going to select the eyedropper to select the part of the face that I actually want this leg to look like. Then I'm going to drag my slider. I could decide to remember the other when I did the first skin, I drag I dragged the slider to the left to the left hand side. But this one because it has more red, I'm going to drag the slider also to the right hand side because I'm trying to remove reds from the skin. So I'm looking at the general skin and making sure it looks good. So dragging it and I can see that the um, lower part of the body looks a little bit dark now. I'm going to increase my lightness of it and you can see the difference, guys. So see the way our skin looks right now i can show you the before and the after of this picture right here so guys here's the before and the after of the picture look at the legs and look at the hand can you guys see and that is easy peasy from here on i can decide to send on my pictures to photoshop for skin blending or like you know skin retouching and also that's it guys if you enjoyed this video kindly like comment share and subscribe on my channel i need your subscription let's grow this channel together and thank you for watching peace guys